Damrian Abasov put on a savage display in the headline of One Dawn of Valor in Indonesia over the weekend to beat Sebastian Kadastam and secure the welterweight belt with a clear unanimous decision. Abasov had the better of Kadastam everywhere. In the third, he opened a nasty cut in the Swedish champ's eye with a brutal knee on the ground. and almost finished the fight in the fourth with a flurry of strikes that had Kadastam holding on for dear life. The win means Abasov joins UFC flyweight queen Valentina Shevchenko as the second current Kyrgyzstani MMA champion for a major promotion. Earlier in the night, lightweight kickboxing champion Regian Ursel pulled off a huge upset by defending his title against Dutch kickboxing legend Nicky Holskin in their rematch. Ursel dropped the superstar challenger late in the first. But Holskin displayed his class to get back up and almost finish the Dutch Surinamese champion seconds later. But Ursel stayed focused for the rest of the five rounds to take the decision and prove that his first victory wasn't a fluke. Brazilian jiu-jitsu legend Damian Maia has beaten wrestling legend Ben Askren in the clash of grappling masters that headlined UFC Fight Night 162 in Singapore. The fight was a brawly stand-up affair for a good portion, but the grappling sections were superb. Askren's takedown game was excellent, but in the end, Maya gained the upper hand with his god-tier submission game, locking in the choke in the third. And at a press conference in Moscow, Conor McGregor has announced the time and place of his planned return to the cage. And who does the notorious one think he'll be facing? Ask the UFC who the opponent is, because I do not give a f who the opponent is. January 18th, the return of the notorious Conor McGregor, 12 weeks this Saturday at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The fired up Irishman went after Russia's own, Khabib Nurmagomedov, the Dagestani champ who took McGregor's belt, believing that a rematch is inevitable. It is a heated, heated rivalry, true heat. So we must settle it, the war is far from over. He can run as long as he wants. He can throw, he can try and throw featherweights or people that I've beaten in the past in front of me. But again, it is an inevitable rematch. He can run, but he cannot hide. But where is he right now? I believe he's out of the country. I fly in, he flies out. Typical of the Dagestani man. And in the boxing, the WBC's war on their own champions has continued as they recently stripped unified lightweight champ Vasily Lomachenko and awarded him the honorarium of franchise champion. Lomachenko is the second fighter to have had this dubious honor bestowed on him after Canelo Alvarez became the middleweight franchise champion earlier this year. Interim champ Devin Haney has been elevated to full champ status in the process. And Formula One King Lewis Hamilton received a timely bit of inspiration before the Mexico Grand Prix this week at the hands of Boxing Hall of Famer Julio Cesar Chavez. Hamilton hit pads and took tips from the Mexican icon, taking the time to loosen up before what was a season-defining race. JCC must have done something right as Lewis won, all but securing top spot for the season a few days later. Fight of the night at UFC Fight Night 162 went to Maya and Askren's headline. Benil Dariush's easy submission and Cyril Ghosn's silky heavyweight kickboxing display both earned performance bonuses. The first of Bellator's weekend events saw Frank Mir decision Roy Nelson in the vintage heavyweight division and Phil Davis stopped Carl Albrechtson in the third. The next night, Douglas Lima decision champ Rory McDonald in the final of the welterweight Grand Prix to take the welterweight belt. The fight was McDonald's last on his Bellator contract and may well be his final fight. Paul Daly stopped Saeed Awad in the co-main. 
In the kickboxing, Myrtle Groenhardt beat up Troy Jones and stopped him in the second to take the interim welterweight title at Glory 70 in Leon. Donovan Visa decision Jason Wilness in the lead up. And in the boxing, Josh Taylor has won the World Boxing Super Series Junior Welterweight Grand Prix and unified the WBA and IBF titles with a tight majority decision over Regis Progre. While Shakur Stevenson remained undefeated to win a vacant, Elwin Soto defended in a wild brawl, and Wen Hang Meni Yotan went to 54-0 with a decision over Simpiwe Konko in Thailand. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.